your TV has been working perfectly fine, showing good color, but one day it starts showing black and white. Like that. So what do you think the problem is? So this is the first solution. Actually, I helped someone yesterday prior to making this video to solve this problem. The problem is that they have selected a different input than what was selected before from their TV. Just go to your remote control and press input. Remove your TV from component and take it back to AV2. That's it. You see color has returned. So I'm also going to explain two more causes of black and white pictures. So stay tuned. If I haven't covered yours by now, I'm sure to cover it in the next three minutes. The second reason that your TV is showing black and white picture is that it has what is known as system incompatibility. So this is a world map picture that shows the NTSC to PAL map of the world. And right now I'm in Kenya. And in Kenya we use the PAL system for televisions. If you brought your TV from one of the countries in South America like Colombia over there or maybe Peru, Mexico, maybe United States or even Canada, if you brought a TV from there to Kenya, it will only show you black and white pictures. So there are two solutions to solve your problem. And one is buying a, a gadget known as, uh, as the PAL to NTSC or maybe NTSC to PAL converter. So in my situation, if I'm in Kenya, I'm going to select it to become a PAL to NTSC converter. It has a switch at the bottom right there and it's powered by USB power. You can power it using the USB port on your TV. So you connect your decoder or DVD player in the input and you connect your TV to the output. So if this is too analog for you, there's another converter. And I'm also going to link these articles that I wrote in the video description below. So this is another converter. This one converts RCA and it becomes a HDMI signal. So the first solution for system incompatibility problems is that you can connect these gadgets in between your television and your decoder or maybe home theater or DVD player. The other solution is to buy a set-top box. And this is one set of box that I'm talking about. I've actually helped a customer by just installing this set of box. He had imported, or rather his children had brought him a TV from Mexico and it was just showing black and white pictures. After I connected this decoder, the TV just worked fine. The advantage with such a decoder is that it has a HDMI output and it worked perfectly. You can see the HDMI port over there. This decoder supports both NTSC as well as PAL. The third solution is that maybe someone is just trying to mess with you because you can actually make your TV show black and white by just making the color value to become zero or uh, smaller value so you see as i increase it the color increases so i'm not going to recommend just increasing the color over here just come to you see how it says the picture mode is vivid user just scroll down to picture reset because it's going to reset the picture that was distorted to the original factory settings uh -huh, that's it. So the original is supposed to be 70 and that vivid user has gone. It's only become vivid. So thank you for watching and goodbye.